According to Henry Hitchens' 2011 book, Language Wars, there are only eight nations which do not have an official primary language. These are Costa Rica, Eritrea, Somalia, Ethiopia, Pakistan, Australia, the USA and the United Kingdom. In 2015, Pakistan reduced this number to seven, though not without controversy. Why these countries? Each case is unique, but Henry Hitchings outlines these key factors. The first is constitutional history or cultural tradition. Perhaps surprisingly, the Anglophone countries generally do not have English as an official language. 58 countries have English as an official language, but not the UK, the USA, or Australia. The English language in these countries is a shared cultural heritage, but not a defining feature of the nation state. Broadly speaking, English has achieved primary status through usage rather than coercion. The second reason is ethnic and or religious tensions. Language is often a factor in political rivalry between competing communities living in a single nation state. This can lead to political paralysis and ethnic tension. See Belgium, for example. According to the Ethnologue, the area that once formed Ethiopia has 84 native languages. This may explain why the three neighbouring African countries, Ethiopia, Somalia and Eritrea, have avoided giving one linguistic community privileged status. The majority populations of Serbia, Montenegro, Bosnia, Herzegovina and Croatia all speak variants of the same language. Unfortunately, they do not agree what that language is called. Another factor is when the state wishes to protect minority languages. Costa Rica, for example, does not have the obvious political tensions that usually make languages contentious. It has historically been the most stable democracy in Latin America. But though Spanish dominates, there are still indigenous languages which are spoken by a minority of the population. New Zealand also promotes minority languages. English is the first language of over 95% of the population, but it shares its official status with Maori and New Zealand Sign Language. <laughs>